in this and later it will be fun <laughs> actually one of the first restaurants that they brought us to but it has a really really pretty lookout so I thought I thought I'd just bring you guys out here first obviously you can get postcards and whatnot hold on let me bring you guys outside it's so pretty out oh boy check check how pretty that looks I imagine this is a little bit like New Mexico but um, the air is really clean, it's really quiet, it's also really cold as well because I think it's still um, early. actually snowed a couple uh, nights here ago so you can start seeing some snow it is actually really really cold as well back down there where we're at the Berber villages um, our guide was actually saying that I mean there are power lines but they use that electricity for light and then um, in terms of like heating water and stuff they actually just um, they just use wood so quite quite interesting yeah it's really really cold here Okay, so our guide just told us that we passed essentially like the high, the peak point of the Atlas Mountains. So we're driving down now and you can actually see like it's an immediate change. It's going back to, if you can see the outside, it's like more pink rocks again. going to um, really a place where they shot a lot of uh, movies like um, Gladiator and whatnot. It's called the Casbah. It's a fortified village. It'd be about a 40 minute walk that way but he also asked whether we wanted to have lunch first and it's around noon time right now and I figure I'm actually quite quite hungry so we we're led into uh, this restaurant here. So I'm just gonna show you guys around. Um, I am not sure 
how much uh, vegan food we're going to get, but I think uh, there were definitely some vegetarian options, so we'll go and explore that, okay? Thank you. So they just brought us over the main meal, which is the vegetable couscous, and it's shaped um, kind of like a mound, kind of like a tagine. So uh, piping, piping hot vegetables. Um, it's, uh, let's see, some courgettes, some, I think it's squash, some potatoes as well, and then a mound of, uh, I think, what looks to be some kind of a cabbage thing. And then our dessert came as well. Um, I just think it's oranges are in the season. There's uh, two apples and then um, some oranges. So a good way to finish it off. Um, it reminds me a lot of like just rural places, right? Where there's sometimes like restaurants dotted uh, in places and then you know, usually tour groups find it and then they bring people in. So this, uh, this place kind of reminds me of that. So that was crazy windy up there. Like seriously, it was almost scary because it could pick up, pick up a human being. And yeah, like I said, the rocks, they were just blowing into your face. So it really hurt to be up there too, which I think is why our tour guide didn't want to go up. But we're finding all of these like cool little um, relics on the ground and he was just saying that um, there was like this balloon thing that was hanging up and he said that in his village he actually used it as like a water bottle and it was basically the, the gut uh, of a cow and so they would just tie it together and then fill it up with water. I feel like I have like little pieces of rock all over me. Um, we're going to go, I think, to another village afterwards. Um, we're gonna go to the gate of the desert, which sounds cool. And then um, a rose garden where they actually get all of like the roses for the rose oils um, that they make. So it's gonna be a really long day, uh, but I hope that this is interesting so far. <laughs> So this, this is going to be our Riyadh. This is where we're staying. Here. Hi. So we just got in. I think it's custom to just have tea before you um, check into your room. They always have these things like above because it's quite low. So um, they have it padded so that it doesn't hit your head. So we're gonna go to the garden right now and then just have some tea before we check in. Uh, without sugar, please. Oh, look at that. That's really pretty. There's, um, I always see like a lot of rosemary. And then there's like a baby over there. That's what you're hearing. Basically today we've been on and off 
of the car for right around eight hours. So I'm completely beat. I don't know how the driver does it. Like he says that he used to do it just on a daily basis of like taking these trips through the mountain and out and driving like 10 hours a day. So it's actually quite impressive. Um, I'm just gonna chill out. I'm gonna have some tea. Um, I think this is where we're gonna have our dinner as well. So I'll just kind of brush my hair, freshen up a bit. And then, um, yeah, I will see you guys back here, I don't know, later. Hi, Rosara. What? You want to see something? We, we need to cook, to cook something. Okay. Okay. I have no problems with helping you cook. Yeah. I'll come down later. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, I could be a yeah, translator. I, I mean, I think I, I know what she's saying. <laughs> kind okay, of. I will, yeah. Oh, okay. It's weird because I... <sighs> I thought I was tired, but then I saw the kitchen and I saw what she was cooking. She's actually cooking some, like, lamb meatballs today. I just told our host that I was, well, vegan vegetarian, right? Because I don't think that they can do vegan here. So, I'm gonna help her. I don't think I'm really gonna help her, but I'm going to go downstairs and pretend like I'm going to help her cook a bit. So this should be really fun. I should, actually, I'm gonna go change into a t-shirt and then I'm gonna go downstairs and then we'll see what we can do in the kitchen. I feel like we're making her nervous now. No? going backstage so uh, this is turkey which I was really surprised that they had and then this is like a, like a meatball thing and these are beans look at how small they are and I think <laughs> tomatoes which is really cool and then this pressure cooker like I saw these pressure cookers I saw these pressure cookers in um, Portugal as well which is really small doop -a -doop -a -doop. Helping the mince and onion, and I have conned my way into a kitchen job at this Riyadh. <laughs> She's probably just like, get out of my kitchen, which is what I would feel. This is our dinner. Here is a vegetable soup. I have these um, olives, locally grown. I think this is sort of what I had for lunch. So this was a surprise. I thought that these were meatballs, but actually they are aubergine balls, which is yummy. We have the tomato sauce here and some rice and some string beans that I saw that were cooked for a very long time. Alrighty, well, I think that's it for me tonight. So I will see you guys early tomorrow for our camel ride. This is our quick breakfast for the morning. And we got so much more for breakfast. Look at this. Or that. Oh, and we got our bread. So we've arrived 
at the Riyadh where all of the, I guess like the camel stables are as well. And uh, we're gonna relax a little bit first. We're gonna relax a little bit first before heading out onto the camels and then I'm going to live in a tent and not shower until tomorrow. So. Uh, yeah, it's like this is that it, it's like some warm. Oh, it's a camel. Um, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I think this is us. Today, we're going to be riding camels. <laughs> oh my god. You guys seem chill. Okay. That's pretty much going to be like a one hour ride through the desert to the tent. Okay. I can help you for your thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. You just keep it on. Okay, I think okay. it, it's still okay, on. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Hi. <laughs> What's up? Hi. Hi. It's so small, right? <laughs> very small. I will, I will put it in my pocket. <laughs> Please, when you want to write, quick to write and hold tight. Hold in this. And later, it will be fun. <laughs> so I think what's going to happen is I'm totally going to drop this later or I'm going to fall off this camel, but it is so much taller up here. Like it went up and then it went up again. So it's so much taller. ever have those diagrams like where it, it was like a camel and then it was like a cross section and then you know the two humps were filled with water those complete lies yeah. and then you think about it any of the cameras that don't have in-body stabilization or like doesn't give you a gimbal is like an absolute con and just taking your money. So, I don't know about you guys, if you've ever had to climb whoo, up a sand dune before. I think we just talked about this. Super, super difficult. Run in sand if you want to be in shape. So I think this is where we'll be for the night. <sighs> oh boy. It's on these forts right there in the shade. I feel like it uh, might get a little bit cold, but that is where, <sighs> that is where we'll be for the night. <sighs> where the sun currently does not touch. They sort of have these like Christmassy esque decorations. Everything is carpeted. So, so here's that. Oh, and it's quite. <laughs> it's dark. Hey, can you guys see? Um, a couple different beds so I'm guessing it's good for like friends there's some there's also some additional mattresses it smells quite nice because I think that they've made it fragrant oh there's like a light but oh <laughs> I was like that was already turned on because it was like I was like this so that is the light and then and then I'm going outside to take some pictures because this place looks Hella cool. It's basically where I need to get up. There's the sun setting. What to do? There's base camp. Again, it's a lot farther than you think, and it's kind of scary because I'm kind of afraid of heights.
sunset is to my right and our camp is to my left down there. This doesn't look like it, but we're actually pretty far up.